Hello guys and welcome to North Lucky Chances highlight video, episode 4 I think we're on now. As you can tell, in the warm-up, we're starting very seriously, blasting the balls out the keeper. The starting lineup today is a bit doubtful. We have a keeper who we don't usually have in goal, as Ollie's on holiday. Sean's got a pretty much broken hamstring. Jack's muscles are tight from his previous games. So already going into the game, we don't look great. And I'm not going to lie, when I saw this team come onto the pitch, we were just laughing. We were laughing at him. I mean, just look at the size difference between me and this guy I'm coming up against here. And then we learned that actually they can play football. Or maybe we just can. As you can see, their striker gets the ball and boots it into the top left corner. He had all the space and time in the world. Very disappointing from our defence to concede in such an early part of the game. So it's no time in kicking back off again, and you can only guess what happens. Yep, so I end up on the floor again. So here we have time the ball showing his worth doing doing a bit of side steps you know running through the fence he has a shot hits jack jack has a shot the keeper gets to it bit of a shame that didn't go in i think it deserved to so yet again we caught on the counter attack the defense is up front i don't know what's going on there but it is what it is and now we're two nil down ties on the ball again he's got one thing and one thing only on his mind and that's the goal but he hits it straight at the keeper here we have the kid who thinks he's ronaldo jr he gets tangled in his own feet ty pinches the ball and puts it in the bottom right but apparently it's free kick to the other team jack didn't even touch him Time might have stamped on his head, but that's a different story. So Jack finds me in the center. I really don't know what to do with it. I don't have much support. Everyone's behind the ball. I'm getting my legs kicked and it's free kick. So here Sean has a missed pass, which I have to recover. I give a one touch to Ty. Ty runs with it. He steps Mr. Bright Boots and that link up play to Jack. It's on a plate for him and he unfortunately puts it over. But with a play like Jack, you undoubtedly know that he will score as I find Jack. Jack shimmies it and bam, there's only one place that was going. So I'll build Jack's ego a little bit and play this because it was a nice shimmy i'll give him that and a really nice finish as well so here i just wanted to prove that i actually do my bit in defense as well i saw that pass i cut it out and i give it to harry and yet again i end up on my ass by being pushed in the back by a midget here we can see ty battling for the ball wins the ball he runs with it a little bit he finds jack great ball to jack jack on the second touch and volley great finish it sounds like i want to suck this guy's dick but he has played incredible for us. It's because he's cocky and arrogant as well. Just the way he walks away from it, just like, yeah, I do this every day. Pow! Yeah, I'm lead for the beat. Pow! If you don't know about me, pow! Better ask him a quick lead, cause pow! Yeah, I'm pow! You know, pow! Yeah, I'm lead for the beat. <laughs> it's just the way he goes flying, I can't deal with it. But good strong legs from Phil. I'm not even going to talk of this, because I'm really not. Oh my god, that was just orgasmic. So it's now two all and the pressure is on the opposition. So Ash gets the ball, turns out, but he just gets his legs hacked and can't hit the ball. We have Harry going in for the big tackle and oops, see ya. So then their keeper puts a long ball through and it goes all the way through the defence. He dummies George and he blasts it, top right corner. Keeper couldn't do anything, but the defence was very poor. And his day just is not getting better. He does well to win the ball, but he just can't finish for shit. And here we have Jack, he takes a touch and he keeps running with the ball. You see Sean to his left, Ash to his right and Harry at the far post. He gives it to Harry, Harry takes a touch and he's just fucking about with it. And it was literally the last chance to equalise and he fucks it. Now this is the last kick of the game. I can't argue with the free kick because I did kick him. Uh, but he takes it anyway as the whistle goes prick. Admittedly, not a great run of performances from Norfolk and Champs, but next week hopefully things will look up as we do play bottom of the league, which we are seventh now, which isn't great, but hopefully we can turn this season around. And as for Man of the Match, Jack Hardesty does earn that again just for his incredible performance. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like our Facebook page and subscribe if you're new around here. See you guys next week.